An early alarm for the Westfield students could only mean one thing. January 3rd was finally here. The day their journey to Nicaragua would begin. You don't realize you're coming until you actually get to the airport. You like wake up that morning, you actually like shower and everything like that. We all gathered. It was super early, so we were all tired. It's 4.32, and oh, I really? have not slept in many hours. I was trying to think in my head, do I have everything? What did I forget? Do I have too much? But yeah, we were all like super groggy, and we were in the airport playing like get to know you games in front of all these people at like 4 in the morning. That was fun. I didn't know a lot of people coming in. That's something that I was definitely nervous about, um, knowing that this was a larger group and I knew that there were a couple of people who knew each other and I didn't really know anybody except for Corey and Micah. Right. So um, it was definitely something that I was like excited to meet new friends and make new connections. But meeting new people wasn't the only worry within the group. I'm just nervous about the plane crash. <laughs> Thank you very much. After two plane rides and a lengthy bus ride, the group arrived in Granada, the place they would call home for the next two weeks. Their hotel was a short bus ride away from the community Kathy and Kelly have brought students for the last eight years. The reason we chose here is because 99% of any donation goes to the children. And so it was really important to us and to our beliefs and our hearts that we wanted to be able to work at a place that, that used the money for the children. And seeing the children again was the only thing on this student's mind. I've literally just been waiting all year to see the kids again, I had no idea if they were going to remember me. No idea at all. I was worried the whole year that they were going to forget. But yeah, just getting to the community again after a year and getting close to the school and everything. And I knew we were going down towards the school. and. Obviously their house is right next to the school, so it's super convenient. But yeah, just going over the fence and seeing them instantly, I think I saw them before they saw me. Monday! 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 And I'm just reacting literally instantly. As soon as I saw me, it was the coolest thing ever. It was so relieving that they remembered. It was so relieving that they knew who I was, and I, it, it literally just made it. Cause then I knew that like the things I were doing was really changing their lives, and that's really really cool. Cause you go on trips like this maybe once, and you think, oh, you're like, I wonder how big of an impact I actually made. I wonder how much I really like changed their lives, like I wonder how much they like actually were affected by me being down here and that just proved it in literally a millisecond. So that was one of the best experiences of my life, definitely. With the help of Westfield State students, Kathy and Kelly have built a high school and part of an elementary school for this community. But building trust with the workers took a little longer. And so it did take a few years. It was kind of like peeling away the layers of an onion to get to know the workers. Um, and to show them that we would come back every year and that our, our bonds were, were unique and, and from the heart. Um, but now there's no question about it. Right, yeah. yeah. It was about the process of them understanding that we wanted to be partners. That, you know, the philosophy of civic engagement is that you, you really are a collaborative effort. You, are, you know, you take the, the, all the good stuff of both groups and put it together and create something beautiful. And so. I think they understood that we were going to come every year and we were going to have the money that the students raised to get the building supplies and mm -hmm. therefore they would have work. But I don't think they thought their hearts would be touched. You know, ours were touched the first time we met them, yeah. but each year it's just grown. 
although there were some concerns from students. When we first showed up, honestly, I was like, I don't know anything about construction. I don't think anyone else does either. Like, we're just gonna be getting in the way and like, kind of just like tourists trying to help out. The foundations laid by Kathy and Kelly have translated into trust and love right away for the student workers. They have really accepted us with open arms, which is not something I expected to happen. Like usually you see like people coming in like trying to help and people are a little inept to try to get that help because people are sometimes, I mean, sometimes too proud or scared of difference or change. But honestly, like they've accepted us so much and it's so eye-opening to know like because if they try to do that where we live like that wouldn't fly like people aren't as trusting and to see them accept us like that was amazing. The men that are on the work site they're just so kind and like even though the language barrier was a thing it was no problem like they were just like mas agua mas agua more water always in need of more water. <laughs> The work site has been really, really fun actually. I was very surprised that it was like so fun because that's definitely out of my comfort zone. But um, each morning we go and we greet the workers and they give us hugs and um, it's, it's so cool to see, you know, we're helping them with something that they, they need in their community. It's actually very funny when I go to greet them because I'm so tall, they always make me like bend down to hug them. So greeting in the morning is a little easier because they always accept like handshakes, high fives, hugs, you know. And you know, like the simple phrases like good morning and how are you, so it's always good because no one else knows how to say anything but good. <laughs> the whole work experience is we are asking and trying try to translate and communicate with the workers, like what can I do, like how can I like assist you and basically it's not really how can I like do this for you, but how can I do this with you to make it easier for you or how can you help me do this. Once the hard work had been put in for the day, it was time to tour the rest of the community and meet some of the students. With summer school being canceled, the group knew that this year was as important as ever to offer classes within the community. So back home, it's almost expected you go to college, and here you're very, very fortunate you get to go on to college. Just the love and uh commitment that they had to, to learning like makes me want to teach more uh, here and uh, back in the states like uh, because there's are those students who are really inspired and uh, dedicated to their education and I hope to help like, strengthen that and contribute to that so. it's summertime and they all the kids all still show up so the ones who are here they're happy to like you know do the um, activities with us teaching the kids has been awesome they're so excited to learn um, they're very eager, they want to learn anything and everything you have to give them. Um, yeah, at home, the kids are like, yeah, whatever, like running around, going crazy, but these kids are like sitting ne right next to you, like give me more, give me more. So welcoming and so happy to just be around like the other kids and around us, even though 95% of our group doesn't speak Spanish. They still have so much fun with the beach ball and the soccer ball and playing the games and it's really fun. I can't really speak that much Spanish and it's crazy that you can make a connection with someone with little words and I think that's just something that really opened my eyes coming here that like these kids have like became like my best friends and I spoke a little with them and picked up on Spanish but like I they run up to me and they're like Lauren 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 and I'm like I know Violet and I'm screaming Natalie and I'm just like it's crazy that we're so connected and not that many words like we're really spoken back and forth. The kids in general are just so much more loving and will jump up on you and hug you and it's amazing to me how the parents trust us so much when we don't even speak their language um, and they let their kids like jump all over us and stuff. That is so different for me than at home. So being here was more just like I felt like a kid again with these kids because I could run around and play where at school it's more strict and I'm in charge, no you're not going to do that, you know. We're there, I can just have so much fun. Being an immersion course, the group also learned by doing some exploring. Learning about the culture like through these experiences is what you really got, I got out of it. You have to learn about the culture. You can't just come someplace and be yourself there. You have to go to that place and be a part of that place.
time to push the limits and try new things. I consider myself a pretty like not adventurous person, so this has been a lot of, you know, go, 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 and a lot of adventures like zip lining and volcano and all that stuff, so it's definitely been a big step for me, and I, I've loved everything. Things like, go, you know, going swimming and jumping out of the boat and stuff like that, like I would have never thought that I would just go for it, right. but something about this place and these people, I'm just like, I just go for it. And I think that's something that I'm definitely gonna carry back. But to try something like different that I wouldn't normally do and actually like really enjoy it, was really kind of an eye-opening experience. Like what else am I missing? Jake would soon regret that question as he was dragged into one of his biggest fears, a haunted prisoner of war camp. Oh man, I was fine. Like I was, those ghosts were scared of me if anything. Uh, but not really, because it was terrifying down there. Oh my God. Like, I would never have done that by myself. That place was terrible. I would, I almost didn't do it with all of you. Like this, oh my gosh, I hate ghosts. I'm glad I did it now because it's like something I could say like, yeah, like I'm scared of ghosts, but at least I tried to like face it and I didn't see anything, which was sweet. I mean, it wasn't that bad. I definitely wouldn't go there at night or ever again. In addition to learning about their new surroundings, these adventures were a time for the group to learn about each other. So for me, the thing that I most am concerned about is that our students will care for each other. Mm -hmm. And so that at the end, that they will feel like they have this new family that has experienced something that no one else has experienced. Like, that's the reason we do it, is because it is unlike anything else that you get to do. The only people who know what we do and what we did is all of you. At the moment, I realized how special this group really was, was when we all went salsa dancing and everybody was just kind of, you know, going for it. You know, none of us are you know, professional dancers, none of us were that good, but we all had so much fun. We're definitely a special group and everybody's so enthusiastic, which really makes it a lot easier to work with people. having so much fun because we're all so comfortable together. This is amazing. We have students even this course that have said, well, I've, I've been in the same classes with them since my freshman year, but now we're friends, you know? And it's just a really cool thing. This newfound sense of family didn't stop among the Westfield students, as it spread to the community members as well. We really feel um, an affinity for having a relationship with a community and, and creating that relationship. We went into Anna who is a person that lives in the community and she invited all 25 of us into our house. Didn't know who we were, she just knew that we were from America. And um, she, yeah, she invited us all in and gave us a cooking lesson. Like you would not expect that in America to invite 25 people from Nicaragua into your house to teach them how to cook, that just wouldn't happen. just feels like a family, even though like there has been the language barrier where we don't know what they're saying. We've all worked together. The patience from them all is like outstanding, that they have patience for all of us who are just learning this new thing. Working on the site has been really fun. We've been all working hard. No one's been really slacking off. We're always like, helping each other, so that's pretty good. We didn't know each other two weeks ago, and now we're just like, hey, if you need a break, like I can tag in. Like Everyone is just so willing to help out. It's just amazing. I think we've just become a family. And I think we just, family helps out when you need it.
and helping their new family finish the community building was something everyone was excited about. And by the end of like where we're at now, with Don Jose saying that we're a great group and a big help, like that meant so much to think that like I'm not just getting in the way and trying to make me feel like I'm doing something, I'm like actually making a difference, which is, I mean, that feels great for all of us. The work site has been awesome. Like, we've built a building. You never think that, like, when we said we were building a building, I thought we were like stacking bricks, all that stuff, but no, we made the cement that goes in between the bricks, we painted this roof. We had to sift the sand that goes into the cement that makes the bricks. So it was really interesting to be able to get all these materials and like, just like that seems so little to make something so big. My favorite part ever was like helping build the wall, the back wall, and we were putting Mesla like in between the cements. That was the most gratifying thing for me because I was like, wow, this wall started here and now it's here. And I was a part of that. When I was younger, my dad bought a basketball hoop for us and we had to make cement to put the basketball hoop in. And after doing that, my dad was like, I'm never making cement again, like that was awful. And now after this week, I'm like, I've made more cement in my, you could ever imagine. So I can't wait to get home to tell him that. Amazing, you know, just realizing that in, you know, these two weeks, we've put together a community center, a cultural center for them is just incredible. And all of these incredible experiences were documented in both individual and group journals. There's a lot of things that you do, that you see, that you experience, that you might not even remember when you leave. And in a week or a year or two years, when you look back at your journal, you're going to remember the way that something sounded because you wrote about it, or the way that it smelled, and it's going to bring back a whole flood of memories. When we talked about doing it, we just thought it would be cool, but we had no idea how much it would really just bring us all together. You know, it's like one more piece that just really unifies us each year. It's like pretty incredible. And what better way to unify the students with the community than one final goodbye party at the work site? two completely different worlds just come together in such a cool experience and such a cool bond. And the strength of these bonds would be shown by how tough it is to say goodbye. The love from that community near Esperanza is, I can't explain it in words and I will miss it. I talked to my friend Jackie who went last year. She was like, honestly, Lauren, it's life changing. You don't come back the same. And I 100% agree with it now. Completely worth it. Like. Once in a lifetime opportunity is like something I'm never gonna do again, probably, I don't think, at least I would like to, but um, yeah, more than I expected in every possible way. It's really, really hard to explain to somebody who hasn't done it and somebody who hasn't come down here. So I'd rather come down and be able to have an emotional goodbye because I did something and had all these experiences and whatever. Um, but those, those are tough. Even with all the tears and the tough goodbyes, the students agree it was a life-changing experience for the better. Oh my gosh, yeah, I'm more than happy. It's like been the best experience of my life. I've like learned so much 
grew so much as a person. Totally, totally would vouch for coming on a trip like this. I think that's how people learn more. Reading about Nicaragua in a textbook compared to being here, it's incomparable. Definitely, I feel a little more apt to try new things, a little more vigilant of what my impact can be on the world and how it affects other people and how I, little things that I can do to make a big change in other people's lives. Teaching and working is just experiences that like I've done before but not in Nicaragua. So being able to work with uh, Spanish speaking individuals was an experience in itself. And uh, being able to do work that was bigger than myself, bigger than all of us, was just that much more worthwhile. This definitely pushed me out of my comfort zone. It was a very good trip to go on. I'd recommend it to people who can afford to come down and have the time to do that. It'd be good for everyone to get a little experience in it. Like, I didn't know what to expect. And when you don't know what to expect, sometimes you assume the worst. But experiencing it and really seeing what the people are about, it changes your perspective monumentally. It's going to be really hard to relay this back to our friends and family back home because we've done so much in such a short amount of time that um, I think that's definitely something that we all can connect over in, in years to come if we see each other at, on campus or outside in Westfield. We can still bond over all of these memories. And you need to do a trip like Nicaragua. If it's not Nicaragua, like, go and do something that great because you'll get so much out of it. The education you get from travel is just immense.